Hello lovely people and welcome back to Accidental Adult. I hope you guys had a fantastic summer and today we are going to bake the Egyptian take on semolina cake that's very easy to make and it's called basbousa. First of all, if I look and sound sick, it's because I am. <coughs> but anyways, so semolina cake is insanely popular around the Mediterranean and so many people make it. And obviously, it's named differently in each country and made differently as well. Some people make it cakey and fluffy, others, like my Egyptian friends who gave me this recipe, make it dense and fudgy. It's obviously the better version and that's what we're going to make today. So let's get started. The first step in the recipe is preparing the otter. Basbusa is soaked in otter, and that's what makes it super moist and insanely delicious. Before making the basbusa, you need to have your otter prepared and chilled. To make otter, check out the link in the description below. We are going to start with our dry ingredients first. In a bowl, combine one cup of fine semolina, dried milk, sugar, Bacon soda! I got bacon soda! No, it's baking powder. It's baking powder. Now one teaspoon of vanilla. And one cup of sunflower oil. It's a very straightforward recipe. Ah, kilism ochlot. Doesn't matter. Still a very straightforward recipe, you know. حنعمل حالنا انه خلطنا الدراي انجريدينتس قبل ما نزيد الاويل one egg 170 grams of ashta ashta is clotted cream and you can find ashta in any middle eastern supermarket really because it's very common in, in, in our cuisine so I'm sure you could find it. Now, we're going to mixy mix all together. This is so much fun. <laughs> you want to keep mixing until the batter kind of looks like wet sand. Place in a preheated oven. Preheat oven, okay. Oven is preheating. All right. This is how easy it is to make it. It's so straightforward. I mean, if you mess this up, I don't know what to tell you. Pour the batter into a 27 by 18 baking dish. So we're just gonna light the surface turns deep golden brown. When the basbusa comes out of the oven, immediately pour the chilled otter all over the surface. This will allow for maximum absorption. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Spread the otter evenly. I just used enough to cover the surface so you can just eyeball it. Patiently wait for the otter to be absorbed. Cover with plastic wrap and set aside for at least 30 minutes. You can serve basbusa warm or straight out of the fridge. It's up to you. Either way, it's delicious. Okay. So it's been an hour and I really want to try it. So that's that's what I'm gonna do. And... Oh, it's so fudgy! Oh my god! I have no self-control. Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. This is 
so good. I made this. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. And that is all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Hopefully, when I'm better. Let's go to the table. Let's go to the table. Let's go to the table. Allah!